this woman that I've got pulled up on my screen is telling everybody, basically, she's too good for coffee dates. She wants dinner dates, and she doesn't settle for anything less. Now, my question is, why are these women so hungry? Why do they want to eat so badly? Why are they so adamant about going out on dinner dates? But what I've come to realize is women like this, they see men as a sponsor for them to experience things and pay their way to do things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. So they see a man as a sponsor. <laughs> so this chick here, she had an interaction with a guy on a dating app, I believe. Maybe not a dating app, just messaging, whatever. And he suggested, oh, let's go on a drink, get a drink. And she said, no. Now, first I would like to add, if these are the types of women that suggesting a simple first date filters out, then that would make sense that you should apply that filter with every woman you talk to. Because if this is the woman it filters out, then it's going to be doing you a solid. So let's get into this. I'll play this. I must apologize first that I'm putting you through this. But I want you to notice her body language, her mannerisms, the way she speaks, her tone of voice, and just her cadence overall. So one of my rules is I don't do coffee or drink dates. Now, I understand that some women like this or prefer this because it's a quick turnaround, 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't like him, you can get out of there. It works for some people. If you like it, I love it. This video is not for you, keep scrolling. However, for me, as for me and my household, we're going to have higher standards. I'm talking to this guy and I'm gonna read it to you because we've been talking for a couple days and he started talking about meeting up. So he said, we should get together over some pear and lychee cocktails soon. And I said, that's really sweet, but I prefer dinner. I like to get dressed up. Now I always try to say it nicely because I don't wanna be like, I don't accept drink dates. Like you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be, you can, you can be nice about it. But let's just say I prefer dinner because I like to get dressed up. And he said, I see, what type of places do you have in mind? So I sent him a list of places that I've been like wanting to try all sorts of different budgets, okay? It ranges from like medium to a little bit higher. Bro, if a woman ever sends you a list of places that she wants to go to with a range of budgets from medium to a little bit higher, run for the hills. Run for the hills. A woman like this is going to be destined. She's destined to be left over. I'm sorry, it's true. All different locations around the city so he can choose like what works for him, you know, timing and budget wise. So I sent the list of places. He says, these places sound really nice. I think it'll be fun to get to know each other over some nicer dining options. Here it comes though. But I wanted to let you know up front that if we were to meet at one of those places, I'm comfortable splitting the check. I usually will do drinks or something on the simpler end for the first meetup to see if there's a connection first. So my thing is, I don't like the coffee or drink day because they're trying to audition you to see if you are worth an actual dinner. This is- Why is that a problem? For one, why is that a problem? Oh, you don't like that men have like boundaries. Oh, you don't like that men aren't just going to spend their time and resources on any random woman simply because she's a woman and has female genitalia. So she, she doesn't think that's reasonable. She thinks uh, it's inappropriate. I don't, I don't think it's reasonable. I disagree. I think because I'm a woman, I immediately deserve a man's time and resources because it, is, it takes time to acquire resources. And so a woman like this, she doesn't think it's appropriate for a man to have some standards himself. What's the problem if he is auditioning you? What's the problem, right? And I mean, shit, a first date really is just simply to see if this woman is nice to be around, right? That's what the first date is all about, getting to know each other. It's not about how much money I can spend on you. And, and again, if this is a woman, is this is the type of women that that filter will filter out. My God, apply it. The thing for me, like I know men, the number one thing men are judging you off of is your looks, right? When they when they see you, 
they meet you they're gonna be like okay how beautiful is she is she put together do i find her attractive right that's the number one thing your personality may come second sure but the first thing is how you look right so with that in mind my nars oh, radiant Jesus. creamy concealer costs 32 dollars okay why would i put on a full face of expensive makeup do my hair make sure my nails are done make sure there's no hair on my body and then so we've heard this before we've heard this and it's so funny man how on one hand they don't do it for men they don't put the, all this makeup on and shit for men they do it for themselves and yet we're the ones who are like expected to sponsor that those expenses in in one way or another i don't see how that applies to me you're a grown-ass woman you made that decision. You didn't consult me before you went and bought your cream whatever. So I don't I don't understand why that, that comes down on me. You're an adult. You're taking care of yourself however you want to do so. And as a matter of a fact, it's like we as men would probably prefer you didn't have to put all this stuff. You didn't have to start drawing on your face like it's a coloring book in order to look pretty. And the thing is, right? When it comes to these dates, I don't like a guy's not going to go on a date with you on the first date if he doesn't think you are attractive. Yes, you know, men definitely care about looks, but when it comes to these dates, it's definitely sort of a man trying to figure out is this wifey, right? Is this the one is this a woman who I would like to spend extensive periods of time together? Is this a woman that you know, it's going to be pleasant or is this a woman that I really just maybe would want to sleep with or not or not even that. Right. So I just I don't see the problem with a man having some boundaries some standards and putting her through. Yes, maybe maybe a bit of an audition. Sure. But that's the man is going through that, too. That's what the first date is. What's up? How are you getting to know each other? What are you about? Do we click? Are you nice to be around? Do you, yes, look like your pictures? Are you a catfish? How much makeup did you have to put on to look attractive? How do you speak? Do you curse a lot? Right? Are you, do you behave, sound, come off as a woman or not? I do not understand why she's so offended by a man putting her through a screening process. And she just thinks that because she's a woman, Men shouldn't be able to do that. And it's it really just boils down to, it's like a game to these women. Like, oh, a man wants to do this? Mm, I'm not going to let him do it because he wants to do that. It's like, oh, a man wants this? I'm going to come up with many reasons why. I just don't feel like letting that fly. I don't feel like letting that slide. I don't think it's appropriate. And so this type of woman here is a type of woman who will not ever be able to fall into a man's frame of life. She will not be able to be submissive ever. She's always going to be combative. She wants to wear the pants. She wants to call the shots. And this is the same type of woman who would say something like, I'll be submissive. I'll be feminine when you pay for everything. But this is not a woman who is capable of doing that. You can just tell. She wants to wear the pants. She wants to be this boss babe calling the shots. Ugh. I don't think women realize how repulsive this type of behavior is. This type of behavior sends like signals and alerts in a man's brain telling him to run because if you stick with a woman like this, your life is going to be miserable. She's going to be leeching off of you, leeching off of your lifestyle and your resources. And I think I've told this story before, but on, on this channel, but when I was still using dating apps, when I was on Bumble, there's a woman I was talking to, and you know what? Now that I listen to this woman and then this other sprinkle, sprinkle lady, I think she actually was listening to these ladies because her script, how she responded, was like exactly what she suggested. Because she suggested, say like, oh, that's sweet of you, but actually, I prefer this, and here's why. And so when, it, when I was talking with this woman and I suggested that we go and we grab a drink on the first date, she said, that sounds nice. But I see that as more of a friendly thing, something that friends do. And I'm looking for more of a romantic connection, which is why I think we should go out to dinner or something. Immediately unmatched her. 
didn't even reply. Had, did it, it was there was you know what? I couldn't have done it any faster. It was as fast as I possibly could have, unmatched, so fast. And so, this woman right here, women like this are destined, like I said, to be left over. I don't. I literally don't think they understand how repulsive it is to men. This type of behavior. This is. This might be the worst type of behavior you want to display, if you are legitimately looking for a good quality man who has some self-respect, some standards, and perceives himself to be worthy and and have some confidence. And this type of behavior is just. It's so repulsive. And I guess my only question is, why did this guy not do what I did? Why did this guy not immediately unmatch her once he said, when she said some stupid shit like that? But what it kind of seemed like this devolved into was like a pissing contest. Because like she rejected the date, or she rejected the, uh, she rejected the drink date. He said, we're, we're splitting the bill. So they're both like, they were both being polite about it politely telling the the other to like fuck off she's like yeah that's great but i like dinner dates he's like yeah those sound like nice places but we're splitting the bill and he of course he knew that wasn't going to warrant a good response but it kind of seemed like he just wanted to let her know not not on my watch all right let's keep playing this come and spend two hours of my time talking to you for an eight dollar coffee or a sixteen dollar cocktail be oh so for real. Let's take it even deeper. When women go out with a man that they do not know, they take a huge risk. Men are crazy, okay? Do you watch the news? Like one in five men are violent. He could unalive you, he could R-A-P-E you, he could shock you, he could harass you if he feels like it. Like it is very dangerous, extremely dangerous. When you go out with a man, you have to share your location with your mom and your friend. You have to send a screen recording of his hinge profile and the conversation that you guys have dude these chicks have got to stop listening to true crime podcasts they have got to stop watching jeffrey dahmer documentaries she just said one in five men are are like violent is that what she said i don't know i just you sound paranoid it's ridiculous and how does what's the difference between going on a dinner date and a coffee date how does that mitigate any of this supposed risk so that if you go missing they have context you have to text your friend every half an hour while you're with him to let her know that you haven't been beheaded you have to take an uber so that he doesn't know what kind of car you have and just in case he's crazy and then when you get home you have to text somebody to tell them that you made it home alive okay okay i'm gonna i'm gonna stop her there and save you the headache but you know to me this stuff is it's actually really sad man it's really sad because pleasant, beautiful, feminine women are like a species going extinct. It's very depressing. And yes, this, this woman here, this is how many Western women are. Like I said, they want to wear the pants. They want to hold all the cards. They want to gain all the leverage. They want to make all the demands, call all the shots. And this is why so many men are over it. This is why they're over it. And yeah, it is. It's very depressing. Because pleasant, beautiful women are, in fact, like in a, like a species going extinct. And then when you come across like a soft, pleasant, legitimate, feminine woman, it, it shatters your reality, making you question basically everything. It's like once you've actually experienced that type of woman who is sweet, yes, soft, yes, a feminine woman, yes, who is capable and happy... And it is her natural instinct to fall into a man's frame. These types of women, once you experience them, you can't go back to these types. You see a woman, you experience a woman like that that I was just talking about. And then you see a woman like this saying she's too good to go on a coffee date. And seeing her mannerisms and hearing the way she speaks, it causes a like a physical revulsion, making you want to go to the bathroom and throw up. And this is why... Applying this filter, uh, suggesting a very simple first date is exactly what you should do because it filters out women like this. Let the docile simps and the masculine women get together. 
They deserve each other. Let them get together and be miserable. They make a they make a perfect match, don't they? Opposites attracting. But all right, I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a subscription. See you later.